Hi there, it's Tanya from Touch Treasures. Hello and welcome if you're new or welcome back if you are a returning subscriber. It's always nice to have you back. If you want to leave me a like and a comment, that would be fabulous. And if you're not subscribed, then please consider um, subscribing. So, um, I've got lots of tabs <laughs> now if you've not got a dye machine um which i didn't have for a long long time i've only just had one uh, recently um the lovely sandra um sent me sent me hers when when she um upgraded to an electric one um but you know you can make tabs there's tabs in kits and they are widely available uh, to buy already die cut out in either Etsy or eBay. Um, I forgot what I was saying. I've just had to run down for the for the post lady picking up um, orders. So yes, you can buy them as as well. So I thought I would make these a bit more substantial than a plain um, tab. So I'm just inking around them with vintage photo. I have cut them in half and I'm going to use them singly. These have been cut on pretty thick um, cards so I don't feel like you know, I want to stick one one side and one the other side. They'll be fine um, as singles. Probably won't get all these done and I probably haven't got enough things out to, to decorate them. But I can always finish some off um, after I've finished filming. Because I want to keep this one short because it's only, you know, a small, small little um, project. I'm going to say a nice little one. You could definitely sit with a tray on, on your lap and, and do this if you've gathered all your things. And all I've got is, um, I've got two lots of ink because I'm going to stamp them uh, and I'm going to do them in tea dye. I've got some uh, buttons. I've got some little bows. Um, I think I've got, an applique in there and I've got a couple of um, I don't know like pearl jewel things um, you could use little paper flowers uh, small butterflies anything small that you could add onto there and I've also got at the side of me some uh, coffee stained netting I've got some uh, tea stained cheesecloth and I've got some uh, bits of lace so I've just separated that um, what am I looking for a stamp so I'll just use uh, this one so I'm just going to just to get something on there, it doesn't matter that I'm <laughs> stamping upside down, that's fine. <laughs> um, it, it's just for something in the background. If you wanted something to show up, obviously, a bit better, then uh, use something darker. You can obviously use uh, tabs from scrapbooking paper that have already got some kind of decoration on. And I'm just keeping these neutral. I've made, been starting to make some neutral things. Um, I'm hoping once I get a spare basket that I can start keeping these neutral like embellishments together. And then um, when I need some embellishments, um, I've got some which will go, you know, with the majority of things that I am doing. 
Okay, so I've pulled the buttons out first. All I've done is threaded them with um, waxed thread, you know, which I'm sewing my journals together with. I'm just going to cut them down a tiny bit. I don't know if some of these buttons will be too big, but these are the ones that I've got already threaded. They don't have to be threaded. I do like the look of them when they are threaded. Okay, so we know that'll be fine. That's possibly too big. That's fine. That'd be fine. That's probably fine. I think that'll be too big and I think that'll be too big. So I'll put those back in my um, tin. So we'll just do these four to start. Let's move some of those threads that I've just cut off. I've got my fabric tack and I'm just going to cut some bits of cheesecloth to just put um, behind the button. So you could obviously use lace, cheesecloth, netting, um, if you've got, if you keep your uh, cotton, you can put a ball of that behind or some uh, fluffy, fluffy wool, just something to give it some kind of movement and interest behind the button. And then I'm just going to pop that on there. I can always trim around um, the cheesecloth after when everything has stuck down. But for now, it's fine um, as it is. Let's do it this way. Put a blob on that. Stick that down. Yep, stick that down. Grab that thread. <laughs> we don't want all those threads. Oops. Okay. Oh dear. I'll just leave that there for a minute. I'm, I think I've got, well, I've obviously got that sticky bit what I've just pulled off um, on my hands. And um, I'm sticking to everything. So that's, that's those ones. I'm going to leave those to dry and then I'll do the next bit um, after. So that's those for now. So I've got some bows, they're going to be uh, too big. I've got a little bow there, could have that in the middle. Let's see, Let's see if I can make that smaller. Ooh, I think I've knotted that. Let's just try and pull it. No, I'm not at it. Okay. No, that is too big. So no, that one should be. Okay. I'll probably pull that in. And that's that. I don't know what he's barking at now. So I've just used the netting on that one and then stuck the bows down. So that's those. Um, I've got these three. So let's do another three. I'll probably have to get a few more um, 
little lace appliques out. So I don't know. I quite like the netting with it. Let's do some more netting. Okay. Do that across the middle. I should be able to do all of them, hopefully. Scrunch it up a little bit. And again, I can trim around it um, after when they've dried. If it's if it's too too much, that's definitely too much. Okay, and then put a dab of glue behind these. So on a lot of them you can't actually see the stamping, but um, I think you're best, you know, stamping them anyway because then, you know, you've not got to, oh, I need to cover that bit because there's nothing on it kind of thing. So I'll just hold those down a second. That's it, that one's gone. That one's fine and so is that one. So that's those. Just going to get some appliques out. I've got that one. Thinking that would be nice. Okay. Okay, I've just poured some some out on the side of of me. Let's keep that separate. Oh, I've got a pretty bait in there. Let's have that. Want any colour on it really to keep it quite neutral? Oh, there's two there. Look, another one there. I've got three left of now, that's too big. That little one there. Oh, I've got another tiny one there. Okay. Okay, so I've done those three uh, with cheesecloth and I'm going to do these ones with netting. So, what have I got? Five. So, one, two. Maybe I can get that one as well. I'll see if it sticks. Okay. I think that might need some more um we'll see we'll see if it sticks okay i'm just gonna rub my dobber across that just to tone it a little bit that's lovely i shall probably use some of these in um the meadow journal 
that I'm making um, offline, um, off camera. I have been putting some photos up on the Facebook group to just show you, um, you know, where I've got to so far with not filming it on camera, but with just doing the uh, Bluebell journal. I didn't think, you know, most people would want to see um, another journal very, very similar. Um, oh, for you still. I've rather drop some on the floor. I can't see it. So let's just take a little bit more. Oh, I think it's there, yeah. <laughs> Dab of glue on these. Okay, what's that? So I'm not going to do all of them, you know, finishing um, them them off. So I've got um, some scraps of material here, and I was thinking if I teamed up, let's do one what we've done a while ago. It like so. Let me cut. maybe that's okay um, and I'm thinking I'll sandwich some lace um, in between the material and the tub <laughs> got there got there in the end so we could pop that there that would be nice. And then let's have, let's have some of that, the net, like across there. So I'm going to do it onto the material and then put uh, the tab on top, I think. No, I'm going to, I'm going to glue this part and I'm going to put that over there then I'm going to put that like so sorry and then I'm going to pop that on top of there, like so. That's that. That would just give me a bit more to stick on on the actual page. Okay, so that's that one, and then obviously you can trim around them as as you want, or or leave them uh, wild. I I like that one. So let's do to another so I'm just doing it a little bit bigger than the tab like so probably straighten that a little bit okay that's so some of some of this Threads 
you know, all over me. <laughs> Following me around. Okay. Ah. Oh. Cute. So that's that one. So really, I'm just using the fabric as something um, to, you know, add the lace onto and then add the tab onto. You could do that with some paper <clears throat> if you wanted. But I've just gone in my little scrap bag and just got um, scraps out, so... pretty and obviously if you was doing it on the other side it would be like that okay I suppose I could cut a few of these couldn't I enough for three okay and then I've got this piece which is like the edge of you know can you see the from the fabric <coughs> I do tend to to save that that's kind of ideal for for this um, kind of thing let's use some of This light, the netting. Bit. Sorry, I'm off camera. I'm having to have it, you know, a little bit close to me. So I'm thinking that would be nice. Let's just cut that down a little bit. I'm going to do that like diagonal as I can, like so. Oh, yeah. Oh, there might be enough on that. There might not be now. I, I hesitated. So, got some on this side. Okay. I'll do a couple more and then we'll call that call that video. So I'll put that across there. And even if you don't cut them down now, you know, when you go to put them on, on your page, you can always um, trim them. I'll just trim that a little bit. Lovely. Yeah, I like these. Very nice. Let's use that bit up. like that um, I'm wondering about a bottom one yeah that's nice so I've just been speaking to Denise I was just telling her um, a, f a friend had got in touch uh, about a month or so 
a go. And it's funny, I've often thought about her. She's a friend from um, Comprehensive, so, you know, secondary um, school. And, um, yeah, I've often thought about her. I've not seen her. I think I bumped into her once when I was about 18, 19. Um, and I've never bumped into her uh, again. And like I say, I've often thought about her. And I have looked for her before on uh, Facebook and um, couldn't couldn't find her. And she messaged me through Facebook and she'd... Um, she'd married and obviously got a, a different surname and um yeah she asked if i wanted to to meet up and we used to hang around with um two two lads um and, and they're both married they're in same sex um marriages and um we've asked we've asked them uh to come because we used to you know go around as a as a foursome and she did act she one of them was a boyfriend um you know we'd have only been possibly 13 um kind of thing so yeah we're gonna we're gonna have a little bit of a, a reunion so that'd be nice that's something i've put that lace um back to front unfortunately <laughs> as you do Right, let's use a bit of this one. Let's cut some of this. And I've got, um, I'm going on a, a birthday meal a week before my uh, birthday. And for my birthday, I'm going to be away with my um, auntie. She's going to take me to to the spa again which is fabulous i've got the best best auntie ever um she's looked after me well since you know since my mum passed passed away and um yeah we've been nice nice company um for each other so yeah that's uh that's nice i've got some nice things to to look forward to don't want to make any more plans than than that that's um that's enough for me and my um energy <laughs> that's that one might as well use that bit of lace up rather than just have an ornament hanging hanging about that's on that one and i think they'll store better as well with that fabric um behind them i'm wondering if i can get get that in yeah i could put it on something a bit more um but it's been hanging around for a long time so i may as well use it. So I'm gonna I think I'll do that with a, a button. I do it like that. Yeah. I'll do it there as not to. Wonder about this button, it's a bit more um yeah. So yeah, for my meal birthday, um both my older daughters, um Eleanor, who's my my youngest daughter is 15 and me and my auntie um, we're gonna go to a <coughs> caribbean um restaurant oh and um yeah I've two for one cocktails <laughs> and a meal so that'll be nice it's it's um nice 
you know, because my oldest daughter's got, got the five uh, children, so she definitely, well, she never goes out, um, you know, with, without them, so that'll be um, nice, nice for her, and it'll be nice to, you know, to see her with, without the, without the children, so kind of a conversation, and then my, my middle daughter, who I don't get to see uh, that much. She only lives at the other end of um, town, but um, she works full-time and got a partner, and they go away um, a lot, and, you know, they do lots of um, things. And they've got a cat and a dog, and, you know, and then Eleanor. <laughs> Up to now, she says she's coming. I've showed her the menu, and that's kind of, um, you know, got a, got a wanting to come. Oh, that's pretty. Let's do, do one of these ones. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, these have turned out um, lovely. <clears throat> I did wonder, you know, what the end uh, result was. Well, would look like but um yeah they've they've turned out nicer than than i thought to be honest so definitely one you can mass make with you know go go with anything if, if you did keep them um neutral i think i'm gonna run that across there like so So I'll use all, all that. So oh. pop that there. I'll have to cut that a bit a bit down. Or I could hunch it up a little bit. Oops. Is um, gurgling. I don't know why. I'm definitely not hungry. Okay, I'm going to leave that um, as it is because I need to get some more of this uh, material out. And um, yeah, I'll just finish finish off. I've used um, you know bits, quite a bit of bits of lace up. Um, that's too white, but. I'm going to rub my um, thingy across it because that would um, would finish it, wouldn't it? Those bits, which would be be nice. So I've got two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's use a little bit more of this. I think I'll use get the netting bit used up lovely oh that's nice so i've still got those uh two so i put those back in my uh bag right i'm going so thank you very much i hope you like them i think they're really uh cute like i say i think that material on the back will just um you know help store them um a bit a bit better so they're not as uh, bendy. So beautiful. And obviously you can do them in any theme, colour and and what have you. <laughs> right, so I shall see you in the next video, hopefully. So bye from me.